We Fit Wellness, Breaking Blind, underwritten by the Colorado Center for the Blind, Push Beverages, and the United States Association of Blind Athletes. Hey everybody, today we are actually doing a video on art. So it is a question and answer video. The Colorado Center for the Blind works with an art teacher. Her name is Ann Cunningham. She is a tactile artist, but we also have a great relationship with the college here, the ACC campus, and Nathan Abels is the art professor there. He's an art teacher, and he has asked me to do this video, and I think it's really fun because a lot of people don't understand how blind people can appreciate art or interpret art or, you know, if they like art. And so I agreed to take some questions from his class and that's what we are going to talk about today. Do you make art or paint? I have actually made a wax butterfly, butterfly sculpture that I had bronzed at the foundry. and. Well, I did that, and I've also worked in our wood shop here, and I made a table, and I painted it, and I tiled it, and I stenciled it, and I also made a cutting board, and I mean, woodworking is art, too. Oh, I so, see yeah. a butterfly. Yeah, it's sitting on my end table at my house. Oh, my goodness. I love butterflies. So, do you like to attend galleries or museums? This is actually a pretty good question, because when I was sighted, I used to love to go to museums. I went all the time. And I don't enjoy them as much since I went blind. Not if they're not things that I can touch and really, like, you know, get my hands on. And For me, having a little bit of vision, I do still like to go to museums and art galleries as long as I can get close enough mm -hmm. to actually be able to see the pieces. So what kind of art means the most to you? So I think literary art means the most to me. I love to listen to books. What might sighted people miss in the arts that you typically get? All of the way that I'm interpreting it is based on my blindness. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like I have a really, really good imagination. So in literary art, I feel like I can imagine everything in the book really, really, really well. But that doesn't mean that somebody with sight can't do the same thing. Do you? What do you think? A lot of times sighted people, because you guys do get so much input through your eyes, don't pay as much attention to like changes in texture mm -hmm. or stuff like that. So like, if we are checking out tactile art, you might still be looking at it and think, oh, this doesn't really look all that awesome. But when I touch it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this feels really cool. Do you paint pictures in your mind when you listen to music? I have, so I call them my, like, my music video songs or like my montage songs. So you know that song, um, Midnight Cities by M83, do you know that song? Yeah. Like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> so every time I hear that song, it's like, it's my montage. I see myself doing all these really cool <laughs> things. Like, I'm like, like hiking and like climbing and like or like flying like just really really super cool things like I look super fashionable I'm like in Italy or like you know what I mean like all these really awesome things and I flip through that I, it's like my movie what does color mean to you color means a lot to me and I don't know if that is because I had sight at one time but I for me color is so much to do like it changes your environment and your mood and your feeling and I love to be look coordinated so color is a big deal with your clothing with your design of your house so I mean color is huge. So if you go into a room is your emotion ever affected by the color of the room so differently if it's a pink room or a green room or a blue room? Well I would have to someone would have to tell me the color. But you're not gonna go start grazing just because you're in a green room no or get hostile because no. you've gone into a yellow room yeah or, or like i that... can't feel color yeah. like so one time i was on 16th street and i was walking and this guy's like can you feel that my shirt's blue i was like no thank you everybody for asking these questions they're really interesting